Y'all, I'm losing my marbles, okay? I, okay, y'all know I work night shifts on the labor and delivery unit as a nurse extern. It is an amazing, words, it's an amazing job, and I love it. So, I had three days on, I have four days off. I have literally been sleeping like 16 hours every single day. And now, today I have to get up and like start making my sleep schedule normal again. And I have just been putting off all of my responsibilities for literally everything. For literally everything. For the past, what, 48 hours? And today's Saturday. I have class on Monday and I have a test on Monday. Y'all, I'm losing my marbles, okay? So, right now... <laughs> what's going on and it's y'all I'm gonna tell y'all my problems you're gonna be like girl are you serious are you serious yes I am serious okay so right now I have to film this content for Amazon which I know it's like oh boo you you have to film content for Amazon I would rather be laying in my bed reading my book with my dog like I, I would rather like not have any type of responsibilities ever but I have to finish my polar wall and the, the deliverables for this week don't even make any freaking sense. So they ended up messing up the first giveaway that we did with Grubhub. And so now they want us to give away um, an Instax mini camera, the Polaroid camera. And I have a polar wall so it's like, okay, that's perfect. But this week, like the deliverables are supposed to be about entertainment. So like reading on your Kindle. So it's supposed to be, and we have a Kindle to give away, but they don't want us to give away the Kindle this week. They want us to give away the Kindle another week. And they want us to give away the Instax camera this week. That doesn't make any sense. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. But whatever, I'm doing whatever I tell me to do. So right now I have to fix my Polaroid wall because there's like a bottom row that's not completely done. So I'm taking some packing tape and I'm putting the packing tape on the back of these so I can hang them on that so that I can take my picture so I can be done. So I just finished putting the bottom row pictures on my Polaroid wall. Here is like a quick overview of everything. This is so awesome because it's like just so many memories, like so many fun things that I've done with so many amazing people. And it's just awesome. Like I just, I love it. Okay, so here we go. Let's take these pictures. That was cheesy and lame. Okay, but I don't even know how to, that's also cheesy and lame. What do I even do? Y'all help me. That was too, like dang, smile harder, why don't you? Okay, so surprise we're doing a little bit of an, <laughs> of an outfit change. This is like a olive green romper with a nice little turtleneck in their pants. So they go all the way down. Um, the only stipulation that Daniel Wellington, well they gave me a lot of stipulations actually. One of the stipulations that Daniel Wellington gave me is that I can't be dressed in athleisure. And I'm just like, okay, how did you find my account? Because my account is literally a gym account, a gym lifestyle account. So, eh, but like I get it because like, why would you be wearing like, high-end jewelry to the gym so anyway let me show you the bag this is the little bag they sent me it's like a baby blue blue check out this is pink a soft pink that they sent me um and then the packaging is just like gorgeous let me show you like how high jojo stop sniffing me for two seconds this just looks so high-end so luxe so luxury okay anyway let me go put on some um lip gloss and some more lotion I'm taking myself on a date and I got myself some beautiful minimalistic jewelry from Daniel Wellington. So let's open it. I feel like that was a good start. I feel like that was a good start. I've never had like a very nice. Oh, let me take my freaking Apple watch off. Are you serious, Jayana? Okay, no, I actually think that video is really cute. So we're going to edit that on CapCut really quick. We're going to send that over to the brand. It's supposed to be posted tomorrow, so I'm already late, but you know what I mean? Um, but no, this jewelry actually is very, very pretty and I think I am going to wear it. I'm not going to wear the watch all the time, but definitely when I have special occasions. Oh, best believe I'm breaking up the, I'm breaking up the Daniel Wellington. The Daniel Wellington, you know what I mean? Uh, okay, so let me go put this back up and I don't even know what we're doing next. Just hold on. My eyebrows are so shiny from the Anastasia Brow Free, so I do apologize for that. Um, but I'm about to go to the gym. Right now, I th shut up. Shut up! Anyway, um, right now I feel a little queasy. That's probably because I haven't eaten anything today and it's like 5 p.m. Um, I just really don't even want to go to the gym, but I know the more I think about it, the more I'm just going to get out of my car and just not even go. Um, but I need to go because I haven't been all week. And I'm just like dreading the run. It's not even the workout part that I dread. It's the cardio at the beginning, the working out. Not the working out, but like the running because y'all running is hard. I don't care how long I've been running. Running is not easy. And it's like my brain is constantly telling me, like, you need to stop. Shut up! You just get out the car and say, hey! Anyway, 
Um, yeah, running is just hard because my brain is just constantly telling me to stop and that I'm tired. But like my legs aren't tired, my body isn't tired, my mind is just telling me that I'm tired. Which is really inconvenient. Um, but I'm gonna eat a little snacky snack. Um, and then I also have my pre-workout. And so we're gonna go. And then tonight for dinner, we're gonna have, have y'all ever had those, um, stacks from Moe's? That's what I'm making for dinner tonight. Or I think the Crunchwrap Supreme from Taco Bell is also the same thing. So that's what I'm having for dinner tonight. I also need to study because I have a good grip on the material that I have a test on on Monday. Um, but I, I can always study more. I can always study more because I really want to make an A. And I'd be very really upset if I didn't make an A. So, let's go to the gym. Okay, so we made it to the gym. There are not a lot of people here, so now I'm even more excited to work out. So I just finished working out, and there were not a lot of people in there, so it was really great. Um, my mile, like, it wasn't even super hard for me to run, so I was like, okay, we're starting off on a sleigh. This is really good. Um, and then I decided to do back day. Um, kind of, not even back day necessarily, just like upper body mostly, so I did some bench press, then I did some wide grip lap pulls, some close grip lap pulls, I did some pull-ups, and then I did some seated row variations, and that was pretty much it, and I got up out of there. I took a little progress video, posted it on TikTok, and on my Instagram story, and now I'm going home because I have to poop really bad. Come here, Jojo. And come sit. That's a good boy. Okay, so as we know, Jojo is, <laughs> he thinks he's about to eat right now. Um, as we know, Jojo is a working dog, and I don't put him to work nearly enough. So I got him this vest from PetSmart. It's one of those, like, heavy-duty work dog vests, and it weighs about, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's, it's heavy. And, like, so, like, when you take them out, first of all, it helps them carry their own weight. So, like, his poop bags and his treats and, like, all that stuff. Um, and it also makes them tired faster because he has so much energy all the time, no matter what. So this makes it... Not harder to walk in the sense of like, oh my gosh, it's back breaking. He was like, girl, if you're gonna talk to me now. Um, it, it's it's okay for him. So it, it was too big the last time I tried to put it on, just like a few weeks ago. So now that he's one, he's one years old, y'all, oh my God. Now that he's one, I'm gonna try to see if he can fit it. Jojo, come here. Come here, Tomok. Stand up. Come here, face this way. Face this way and stop being weird. Oh my god, he looks like such a big boy. Huh, Joji? What is he doing? Being a big boy. See, like, the sides are still too big. But he'll grow into it. He'll grow into it. And, like, I can't adjust the straps. Like, this is as small as it gets. But, oh no, him can't fit at home, boo. That is so sad for that boy. Okay, I just wanted to try it on. He is still, like, the exact same as he was a few weeks ago. Joe just said, girl, I am so freaking hungry. Let's go. What do you need to do? What do you need to do? And that is a good boy. Yeah, get in there, son. Get in there, son. Sorry, the washing machine is literally so loud, but here's the dinner that I made. It's just literally Alfredo with some Parmesan on top and then some breadsticks. This is really the first thing I've eaten all day, so I kind of don't feel bad about having three breadsticks. Good morning. Actually, it's not even morning. It is 12.24 p.m. and today is a Sunday. I was going to do like a cleaning version of a Sunday reset, but instead we're just going to go to Trader Joe's. I've not been to Trader Joe's since I was at home in Seattle like back in December, so it's been a minute. So I'm really, really, really excited to go. Um, I did a poll on my Instagram story saying like, oh, should I go to Trader Joe's for Sunday reset? Tell me why six people said no. <laughs> Y'all are some haters. Y'all are some haters for real. But anyway, so the plan is to go to Trader Joe's. I also want to go to Sephora because I want to try that Sol de Janeiro whatever and just kind of see how that perfume smells. And then we're going to come back, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, also have some errands to run today. I already went ahead and did my skincare. The skin is looking super, super good. Um, I did my eyelashes. I'm not in love with the mascara look today, but it'll be okay. Um, so now I just found something to wear. It's 57, no, it's 61 degrees outside now. So that's giving very much like shorts and t-shirt. I don't know. I guess we'll see. But let's go. Let's start the day. We're in the car. The first thing that I have to do is that I have to drop off this giveaway from my Instagram to UPS. UPS didn't even open until 12 o'clock and it's like almost 1 o'clock. It's 12.58. So we're going to go drop this off at UPS to our giveaway winner. So excited. Um... Hopefully it's a very seamless, easy process. There's not a lot of people in here, so we can just be in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. So, let's hope. So, I sent that off. That was giving me so much stress and anxiety because I hate going to, like, UPS or whatever. But now that that's done, and what I need to do, we're closest to Starbucks. Let's go get a Starbucks. 
So one of my friends, Rebecca, I told her, well, I put on my Instagram story that I was going to Trader Joe's today and she goes to Trader Joe's every Sunday because she's a queen. And I was like, you need to send me like stuff to get because I'm going in here blind. Tell me why she sent me an entire note. There's supposed to be pictures right here. I don't know why they're not loading. But she sent me an entire list of all the things to get with like what she thinks about all of them. That's a love language, for real. Y'all ever be in the Starbucks line for so long to the point where you don't even want the Starbucks anymore? But like you're trapped between other cars so you have to be forced to get Starbucks? Can I please have a grande strawberry acai refresher with lemonade? And can I have that frozen? Grande strawberry acai lemonade and unfortunately we can't do it frozen. Um, should we do it blended? Yeah, that's fine. Is that what I mean? And then, can I have the... That's fine. And then, can I have the sausage, egg, and cheddar sandwich? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, thank you so much. That was such a waste of like an hour of my life. I'm actually really, really, really pissed off about that. It took so long and then my sandwich is like warm at best. Like usually when I come in the mornings after a test, it's hot. First off, it's real, you know what I mean? But right now it's just, it's not giving. It's not giving. So since I waited a freaking hour. Okay, but well let me show you what the drink looks like. This is what, y'all can't even see it because it's so bright. But this is what the drink looks like. Yay. I don't know if it's gonna taste good or not. <laughs> Why are you barking at her so hard? Am I an animal? She was like, like she didn't want to give me a straw. Girl, give me that straw for my teeth. That's good. It tastes like little, little bit. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, wait. Everybody, calm down. It tastes like a mixed drink. Let me find that Starbucks. Uh, them poison me. Where my lukewarm sandwich at so I can eat that? I do not want to get gas. Where's a man when you need one? That's getting real egg. It tastes very eggy. I wish I could say like light egg, <laughs> but it comes in the batter. But this is definitely way too much freaking egg. But we're at Trader Joe's and there are so many people. So many people and I'm very nervous. I need to shave my legs because these things are hairy. Um, but there's a Sephora right next to the Trader Joe's. Should I get flowers? I feel like I should get flowers. Am I in my flower girl era? Okay, I just got back from Trader Joe's and Sephora. So let's see what I got. So we're going to start off with what I got from Sephora. So if y'all know me, y'all know that I absolutely love anything by Fenty Skin. I already have like the normal butter drop that comes in like the lavender casing. This is the vanilla version. It's a limited edition. They said that they don't sell it in stores. They only sell it online. Super exclusive, whatever. Tell me why I got one of the last ones. Y'all, this smells divine. And then to match this scent, I got the Brazilian Crush Caramelized Vanilla Macadamia Body Spray. This smells absolutely so good. So good together. And then I went to Trader Joe's, y'all know. One of my favorite fruits is a peach. Y'all know that TikTok where that girl went into Costco, they had that huge jar of like the peaches, but they weren't cut in half. They were just like whole circular peaches. Tell me why I found these. They're like peach halves it says I'm, I'm good with a half so good with a half so they have some peach house i could probably eat this tonight like i love peaches it's yellow clean peach house in white grape juice i love grape juice especially white grape juice this is my dream this is my dream and then i got some trader joe's organic spicy taco sauce i could drink spicy taco sauce taco sauce period by the bottle so i got some of that and then i got some vegetable fried rice and then to go with the vegetable fried rice, and my friend Rebecca told me to get some soyaki sauce. It's just soy sauce and teriyaki sauce mixed together. That sounds good, because I love both of those things. And then I said that I was gonna make um, pizza, like homemade pizza later this week, so I got some roasted garlic marinara sauce. And then, I have some pizza dough somewhere. Trader Joe's also sells pizza dough, and you can also use it to like make breadsticks and stuff like that. So I got some homemade pizza dough. And then they have really cool like juices. So this is a orange peach mango juice. 
that sounds delicious and then i also got this lemonade because when i was at home in seattle my sister got it and she drank the whole thing in like the matter of two days and when i went to the cash register they were like they drink it in a matter of an hour so i got this i'm pretty sure it's really good and oh i they didn't have like the casing of like the whole hash browns like the oval square ones um so i just got these hash browns and i make like a breakfast hash brown bowl in the morning and i feel like it'll be really good I take a Polaroid of the day, of course, of my little Trader Joe's trip. This was so fun. The reason that I wasn't really filming that much in Sephora is because there were so many people. And there were, like, so many middle school girls and just, like, older people that were, like, pushing people out of the way, not saying sorry, people talking about other people, like, in a negative way. And it was just a lot. And you couldn't even stand in your own little square without being in somebody else's face. So it was just... A little too much it was like mean girl central in sephora today and i really just didn't like that but the workers were so nice so 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 nice i think the biggest thing that clinical does is it teaches you how to be a human being like i feel like in nursing school it's always like walk into the patient's room introduce myself identify the patient using two patient identifiers explain the procedure provide for privacy girl relax relax this this is a normal person in his bed like every, everything is literally gonna be fine this is a normal person nursing school teaches you how to like break down that nervousness of being like let me show you happy Hi, my name is Jayana. I'm going to be your student nurse today. This is how I walk in. Hey, friend. My name is Jay. I'm going to be taking care of you today. Are you in any pain right now? Is there anything I can get for you? Do you have any questions for me? What's going on? I was talking to my parents like they're my friend. <laughs> like they're my homegirl from way back when. You know what I mean? Like just talk to them like you're just a normal, a normal person. And I feel like that's like one very good thing that clinical gave me it just it just teaches you how to be a normal freaking human being Let me tell you something. it is hard nursing school is way 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 harder than pre-med bio and once i got into nursing school i had a newfound respect for nurses and how freaking hard and how rigorous this program is like imagine imagine like for what 13 years of your life you can make what a d a 60 and everything is fine no, no harm no foul you know just do better on the next one and you know bring your average up a little bit but at the end of the day who cares nursing school 75 average you have to be better than average in nursing school wow that was a word that was a word but yeah in nursing school you literally have to be better than average and it's hard and it's competitive because it needs to be and that's okay that's one thing that i feel like my school has taught me is that it's competitive because it needs to be will i ever go back and get my masters i don't know i don't know i, just, I feel like i really just need to see what my quality of life is as just a regular labor and delivery nurse if i'm just happy that way then fine but like truthfully speaking taking money out of out of the scenario would i ever want to be a crna no not really i mean i think it's cool but is that like a passion for me no no or would i ever want to be a nurse practitioner i mean but anyway concluded my little self-care routine skin on gleam now i'm about to land my bed and finish this book I'm usually not into like war historical time pieces, but this book kind of good. People was crying over it on TikTok. I haven't got to the point where I started crying yet, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. Good morning. So last night I finished that book that I was telling y'all about. I was reading, um, I think it's called The Things We Leave Unfinished. And I'm usually not a person that's very into like history, war, like time pieces, but this one was like. A split POV of like what happened in the past between these two love interests and what happens after one of the love interests dies and like their granddaughter finds like the notes and everything it was a really good story it was beautiful um, and the ending was not predictable like a lot of other like time pieces wars story kind of things it like had my mouth on the floor like I was like what did you say it was really 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 good and i actually enjoyed it so i stayed up until about like mm, probably about like three o'clock like reading and then getting on tiktok and then just trying to ease some of my pre-test anxiety and i feel like it worked for the most part and then i also took two melatonin because if i don't like i'll just stay up and my mind will just reel about all the possibilities of things that could be on the test and it's just like not even not even good for me so I just take the melatonin and then that's that um I slept fairly well I had a dream that I was Miley Cyrus and that I was 16 and pregnant 
and Billy Ray was telling me that like I had to choose. I either had to choose to be Hannah Montana or I had to give it all up and be a mother. And I was like, why can't I do both? And then my alarm went off. So I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. I have always had weird dreams since I was a kid. Like I remember this one dream. I had I had just learned about Octomom and I had a dream that I was Octomom, but like I was an octopus. And I had eight human children. And it was very scary, very wild. Um, I also had this recurring childhood dream that, oh my gosh, somebody please diagnose me in the, <laughs> in the comments. I had this recurring dream that I was in the car with Chucky, like the dog, oh my god, I don't even want to say it too loud, with Chucky, like the little redhead, the little redheaded doll, and I was in a black car and I was driving backwards in the driveway and nobody would get me, like I would scream help and nobody would get me, and it was scary, like it was one of those dreams that I couldn't wake up from and it was terrifying. Of the day, we're going a tad bit emo today. But it's this super long, long sleeve Nike, um, what is this? A shirt. Super long, long sleeve Nike shirt. Like the length is long. Like this goes all the way down to like my mid thigh. And then my absolute favorite shorts that I got from Amazon. They're like the dolphin style cut shorts. So this and this. With this, you're not going to be able to see my shorts. So it's perfect. And then I'm going to wear my black and white Nike blazers. So let's get dressed. All right, so now that I'm dressed, here are the scents of the day. It's the Fenty Skin Vanilla Dream Whipped Body Oil. And then for my base perfume, I'm using the Billie Eilish perfume. And then for my light body spray, I'm using the Caramelized Vanilla Macadamia by Brazilian Crush. Okay, so I just finished taking my test and I feel very like indifferent. Like I just genuinely don't know how to feel. And it was on a test of things that like I know because I deal with it every day and I'm just like, so I left my room in complete disarray when I left this morning because I was rushing so I just kind of have stuff everywhere so I'm gonna clean my room really quick. So I cleaned my room and it looks so much better. It was a hot mess but it looks better now. I'm having these Trader Joe's shredded hash browns and then fully cooked pork sausage patties from Jimmy Dean and then I'm gonna just add like maybe two eggs in there let's see how it turned out okay so i just finished making my bacon hash brown why do i keep saying bacon there's no bacon in here it's sausage egg cheese and hash brown bowl super good the hash browns did take a little bit to like brown up a little bit but if you use a bigger skillet and like lay it super super flat it is pretty good this trader joe's orange mango peach juice is stellar so freaking good so we're gonna do first taste of this bacon hash brown bowl. I added a little bit of salt and pepper to it um, just to season it to taste, but not too much. Let me get a perfect bite. Okay, that's egg. Let's get some sausage. I feel like that's a good bite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna try having to go to Trader Joe's every week because it's delicious. I can't live without this. This is so good. At this at this specific very small moment in time, I'm considering doing my preceptorship and the trauma surgical ICU because what were y'all doing? Um, yeah, like what were y'all doing to to have that happen to you? So that's what I'm thinking right now. Originally, I just wanted to do labor and delivery like at my regular job and just because I like I know that's what I want to do and I probably won't ever do trauma well I won't say I won't say ever but like I don't have my heart set on doing trauma right now but I think that's what I want to do for my preceptorship so we'll see but yeah I'm burnt out on class today I'm burnt out on people today I'm burnt out on everything oh my gosh um I took my test and I passed <laughs> passed my test so that is awesome that's just another old thing off the to-do list so I feel really good about that I don't know why I had so much anxiety about that test but it ended up being perfectly fine like I have picked Jojo up from daycare he came home with so much ridiculous energy and then one of the people that work at his daycare she's also my neighbor so he saw her walking down the hallway oh my gosh he lost it he lost it because he loved her so much which is so sweet and I love that because it lets me know that like they're treating him very well over there so I don't really have a problem with it but he was crazy so I went ahead and I fed him really quick and now he is in his crate and he is balled up and he is asleep also here's tea I don't think that I want to take graduation pictures here like at all um I think I only want to take graduation pictures when I go home to Seattle for the summertime 
Um, just because I, again, like I was telling y'all, I just feel like I would just be in a much happier state. And I know some amazing, amazing, amazing photographers in Washington State. Um, I already have somebody in mind that I want to do them. And I just feel like it would just be beautiful and serene and I just be really happy about it and my family could be a real integral part of it and it could just be a lot better than if I was here and I had the same generic photos as everybody else which I just really don't want like I want something different I want something exciting I don't want to wear the white dress and do the balloons and the confetti in front of the school like I want something just something different something a little bit and like no hate to people that do that like it's popular it's basic for reasons basic because the pictures turn out gorgeous but I just want something a little bit different for me and I just don't want to do them here because again like when I look back on these videos on these pictures I don't want to think about how upset I was during this time I want to think about like oh my gosh I was at home and like this is the best time ever because like I was telling y'all I'm so ready to move away and I don't want to look back on my graduation pictures and be like Ugh. I was just thinking about how bad I just wanted to move away the entire time I was taking those pictures so I don't think I'm gonna do it here I think I'm gonna do it at home this summer in Seattle so it's really really exciting okay so I'm about to get ready to get dressed and go ahead and go to work so I will see y'all in the next one bye